Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the new save file. We are jumping in again and I want to do, just because of the back of that loss, I want to do another Tainted Lost run because it's been a little bit and I really, really love them. Uh, we've done a good amount as Tainted Lost already. Um, maybe we'll go for a Mother run. Mother is obviously a particularly difficult one as Tainted Lost. Uh, I think Mother and Beast are the hardest. I think Beast was the last one I got on my first time doing Tainted Lost. In fact, I think it was so difficult I ended up doing it off camera. I ended up just like spending like an entire day just grinding out runs. Um, but this time I'll push forward, bring the pain with me and see how we do. We've got a few mods to make this character a little less BS. So hopefully we can get something good going on. Um, I don't think these guys can jump onto the rocks, can they? No, they can't. Okay, so we can just chill here and make our life a little easier for ourselves, which is rather nice. Um, just hang out. Just hang out. Um, yeah, I gotta say, let's let's just see if we can have a good one. Let's see if we can have a good one. Uh, do you know what, Snakey boy? He is not bad at all. I will take the snake. I don't know why it gives us little curlies in our cheeks. It gives us little uh, saw curlies, whatever you want to call that guy. Jigsaw, that's his name. Little jigsaw curlies on our cheeks. Ooh, hello. Is that a golden bomb I hear? Why, yes, it is. Okay, we need to be looking for secret room here. Um, I will take my time, if I must, to find it. Um, let's have a little look, see what's going on here. Um, I'm not exactly sure where secret room could be, to be honest, right now. Uh, that's actually potentially pretty good as a trinket. Uh, obviously, until we get perfection, at least. I will go and uh, blow up all of these. Get ourselves a burn bag. Doesn't do much for us, but it's something. Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure where Secret Room would be in this scenario here, but there you go. We just found it there. Nice. Just thought I'd kind of smack it everywhere and hope for the best. Let's get ourselves Magic Mush, because you know the luck is on my side right now, so I'll definitely get it. Damn you, game. How could you do this to me? How could you? As for the question of the day today, hmm. Um... What's like the next rogue like you think is going to be big, or what's one that you'd want to be big? What, what's what's um what's something that's coming up, or a game that's coming up that you just think is going to be kind of a hit? It'd be interesting to note. And then also, what sort of games like that do you want to see on the channel? Uh, I don't think this does anything for us. Plague nope. of decay. Plague of decay. I kind of want to get enough money for the shop because Jar of Flies. It speaks to me on a primal level because I just think that could be really really good. Um, I'd very much like to grab that. Oh god, the hand kind of spooked me there a little bit, I'll be honest. We'll see if we get enough. We can bomb our donation machine if we need to, but obviously I'd rather not. Okay. Honestly, the snakey is just doing a great job right now. He is a trooper. A true trooper. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I'll bomb my donation machine. It's not the end of the world to bomb it. I've realized I really should be treating it a little bit better than I currently am. I do need to get it to 999 at some point. But I'm a rude man. I will take the shortcuts when they present themselves to me. And I will go on with my day. But yeah, Jar of Flies, I can expect to be very, very good. Um, I just think there's the, there's the potential chance of um, getting a lot of extra damage using it, so I like that a lot. No crawl space for us. I will check this just in case. Unlikely to get one. Sadly not, and we will try and do a mother run. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Sad to uh, have no more golden bombs. Very sad indeed. Such a good pickup to get early on. But yeah, we'll see how this goes. Um, intriguing. No golden bombs for this either. Oof. I've got to remember to actually use my Jar of Flies sort of correctly. But for me, in terms of the question of the day, I really want Revita 2.0. There's an update coming for that game. And I feel like Revita just never really got the recognition it deserved. It's such a damn good game. And I'm really hoping that when the 2.0 update comes out, it gets a lot more um, a lot more of an audience and, and becomes a bit more of a mainstream roguelike. Because it, it really does deserve it. I'm going to be playing it on my channel when that update comes out just because I'm really looking forward to the update. And yeah, I really hope that it sort of gets that recognition because it's it's got my, one of my favourite aspects as one of the main parts of the gameplay loop, which is risk reward. It does a lot with risk reward, and I really enjoy that. Um, I don't think I'll be taking Dead Tooth here. 
Uh, ugh, Little Minx is also terrible. I, I, like, I know that it's got positives, but I just don't understand how to effectively use Little Minx, so I just don't think it's very good. Like, it just makes enemies invincible like that, and it's like, why? And it, like, spews out some shots when I kill them. It's like, do I, do I really care about that? Like, honestly? No. I, I just don't. I just don't really value that awesome all, all too much. Right. Boss time. We got the big snaky boy himself. I, I could bomb this guy, but I do need my bombs for uh, the future. I need at least two for next floor, so I'd rather not use bombs. He is going to do his tail up in a minute. Um, we'll have to deal with that. But yeah, I just don't know if, if the Minx thing is, is really any value to me. I, I, like, if someone knows better how to effectively use it, then please do let me know, because yeah, at the minute, I'm just really unsure as to how to get the most value out of it. It just doesn't seem that useful to me. And I'm sure it's partly because I just don't understand the correct usage of it. But, what the hell? His son appeared to me. Um, plus three bombs is rather nice, apart from one of them's a goddamn troll bomb. We'll check the devil deal out here, and we get something that's very... Actually, this is incredible. This is absolutely insane. Holy shit. Because now our jar of flies produces locusts. That is absolutely insane. Anyways, let's keep her going. Okay, so not saying this is a one run by any means. You never know a tainted loss, but this is a very, very good position to be in. Uh, what we got here? Um... I definitely want that. Oh, I can take both. A little bit scary to take both there just because there's a spicy pea on the floor now, which I really don't like having around. Okay, good. Make sure whenever he spawns stuff to be popping our... Uh, Space bar. Okay, good, good, good. So now we have a very slight bit of invincibility when we enter a room, as well as anything frozen for a short amount of time we enter a room. That is a very nice combo to have. And we also got extra damage out of that as well, which I really like. Of course, locusts killing enemies doesn't give us more locusts, but that's kind of fully understandable. Um, take whatever this is. Hot wheels. Hot wheels can be dangerous. They can destroy rocks that you don't intend to destroy. Um. If, I was going to say, if that had destroyed that mirror then, I would have been so pissed. Cool. Right, I just wanted to grab that while we're there. Super easy to grab it. If that destroyed that mirror then by bonking into it, oh boy. Oh boy, I would have been mad. Understandable that it would do so, but I still would have been well within my right to be mad about it. Chariot? Eh, fool probably better. In fact, fool we could just use here. Fortunately, a lot of trash. And then we'll take the chariot. Yeah, look at that. Oh, the explosive guys, of course, do have a bit of danger associated with them, but I don't think it'll be so bad for us. Honestly, our room starting is so good. So annoyed by little minx here, just being kind of a little sack of shit, making stuff invincible. I see that tinted rock there, by the way. Quickly exit and re-enter the room. A spare holy card. Okay, we are in a good place now. Lots of money. We haven't seen the shop yet. Spare holy card. Now this puts this run in with a chance. Um... Fortunately, none of those do anything for us. I suppose I could open the sack up and see if we get anything good. Wow, nothing good there. 
Okay, I've definitely got a bit of stress now based on how well things are going at the moment. Certainly adding to the stress of the situation. I don't remember this guy very much at all, so forgive me if I take damage to him. I think I've got him. Dude, took damage to him. God damn it, I didn't know that he did that. We no longer have a spare holy card. We do have perfection. Uh, we do have a devil deal. Um, of which, unfortunately, we've really not got anything here that I want. So I guess I just take a quarter. That's It's pretty pathetic to take that from the devil deal. But I'm not going to bother with the, uh, the pills. Right. Down we go. Good, good, good. Oh, God. Stress is reasonably high right now. Ooh, 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 ooh. I, 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 have, I have zero understanding as to what's going on with all the enemies underneath the floor right now. Very stressful. There's a bunch of enemies underneath the ground that I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand right now, and it's it's very scary. Did that not hit you? Why? This dude's gonna be an ass, isn't he? Two two hits to kill you. Good. That room was scary. I did not know what the hell was going on with those guys underground, and I did not want to deal with them. Quickly check in here. Death. Justice is just good to pop. Air was. I don't really know where to use air was in this room, but in this room it's going to be a bit easier. I think it goes here. Here go. Grabber. I don't want grabber. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't want something that's going to fucking jostle me around and piss me off. Sorry, but that is not on the agenda for today. I was kind of hoping that would just kill you, but sadly not. That worked w well enough. Not how I expected it to go down, but it worked well enough. So much money. Now I can't even donate either. Okay, again, anything that goes underground, a real risk to us. Try and take those guys out first. And these guys are both cross-eyed. Having minions around those enemies is scary too, because if they kill them off screen and the fire starts spewing and you're not ready for it, it can be very problematic. Dude, little Minx, can you literally stop? Why did I even pick you up? You're terrible. All you serve to do is annoy the hell out of me. Plus 10 bombs, I don't think so. We're taking a lot of random items here, uh, which is very risky, but unfortunately the items the game's giving me are really not great. PhD is, of course, fantastic for us at this point. Ranger. I guess I'll take the card as well. Angman doesn't mean anything to us. Okay. Secret room seems very likely to be there. Probably should have let him do his little thing, to be honest, and give us whatever was inside him, but it's done now. Second secret room could be here. Yeah. Ah, it's just a crawl space we've already been into. Down. Hot darn. So much money. The game's not really giving us much ability to use it either. Okay, Reap Creep is kind of annoying. He does spawn minions, which is potentially good for us because we can get more locusts. It's also potentially dangerous if he drops all the spiders on our head. I also don't really remember how to dodge his laser beam attack. In fact, ah, oh, really? Oh, 
What the fuck am- yeah, What the fuck am I meant to do there, dude? You spawned a bunch of spiders on me, then fired a laser beam to the point where I couldn't move. I feel that's a little- It's a little goddamn unfair. So we've now got no holy card, um, so this this run is at severe risk now. But that was kind of horse shit. <laughs> like, he just locked me in there. Gold flakes doesn't do anything for us. It does give us plus 10 luck, actually. It, it turns our, uh, our thingy gold, which is potentially good. So now we're on the hunt for a holy card. Doesn't seem fun. That is tears up, I'll take it. Tool probably would have been better. I've managed to spawn a big scorpion, dude. Whoops. Are both of you dead? Yeah. Spiders. Oh, god damn, this run's so potentially good and it's so high risk right now. Pax doesn't really do anything for us. I don't really know what's going on in this room, I'll be honest, but it's over now. Come on, holy card. Come back to me. Need my shop again, which will likely be useless again, but... Can't not go for the shop here. All oh, of that's dead. So many chests. More range up. Shop is just hidden away from us, apparently. In the depths of this floor somewhere. Don't know what to think of this enemy. Okay, it's one of these guys, but slightly different, I see. Slightly more unfamiliar to me. Second secret room. That's the R key. I don't know what to think about that. Like, it's potentially really good, but honestly... I don't know, because we'd have to give up our Jar of Flies, and our Jar of Flies is kind of incredible right now, also. Who'd have thunk it? And also, like, when do I use it? Like, in theory, I guess I just use it now, but yeah, I, do I feel like losing Jar of Flies would be a massive hit to this run. So I'm not going to take our key yet. I'll see what happens at the end of this floor. This I might die before the end of this floor, who knows, but I just... I don't know. Losing Jar of Flies seems like a huge downer on this run. Like a huge, huge downer. Oh, this is a very annoying version of this room. We have no control over when this guy gets hit. Well, I say no control. We have little control. Okay, we're dead. So we missed out on that Arky and everything. That was... That was very unfortunate. That was a very fun run, and we even got an R key. I probably should have just used the R key, but I don't know. I felt more vindicated in just trying to keep the Jar of Flies going. And honestly, I'm mostly hugely pissed off about the way that fucking Re Reap Creep fight went. He locked me in while spawning spiders on me, so I couldn't move away from them. It's just like, what the fuck do I do? Like, thanks, guy. Thanks, dude. Like, what What the hell do I do in that situation? It's just, a, oh, well, you just take damage, I guess. Ugh. Annoying. Annoying. I don't, you can't get too annoyed at tainted loss, losses, though. It just, it is what it is. But that, that one hurts, particularly. Also, Hot Wheels again. Don't, uh, don't really know how it's quality three, I'll be honest. It's like, it's fine, you can destroy rocks with it and stuff, but it's so difficult to move it where you want it to be. To like, actually destroy the rocks, you know what, just restart. To actually destroy the rocks you intend to destroy, it's like, nah. It just has an absolute fit. It will not cycle in the directions you want it to. But yeah, that is an unfortunate one to lose, definitely. Um, unfortunate one to lose, but we, we continue on. We... We realize that that can happen. 
Just lost my holy cards. But inopportune times, let's call it. And then, yeah, that boss fight, unfortunately, having the golden bomb in it, like, being that layout where... It's like, normally, that layout I don't really care about, but giving me no control over when I destroy the segments and whereabouts I, I throw the bombs on a character that can die in one hit, really not very fun. <laughs> really was not was not something I would uh, wish upon anyone. Tiny planet, I'll take it. Does it not give me a tears up? Is this not normally a tears up? 20% chance for any damage to deal no more than half a heart. Unfortunately, that does literally nothing for us. But yeah, I like Tiny Planet. It can it can create some interesting runs. It's certainly risky. Wow! Wow we that guy spawned out of the goddamn poop that I accidentally destroyed and hit me. Ugh. Ugh, God, it's gross. It do be very gross. Not a fan of the way that went down. Anyways, I've got Tiny Planet, so I have to continue on. I must continue forth. Uh, let's see if we can get a holy card from our shop. Although unlikely to be. Unlikely to be, sadly not, no. We got Greg the Egg. Greg the good old egg. Not much else. Secret room could be here. I think I'm gonna try that out. Yeah. It's not very likely to help us out, is it? Ten percent chance to to be a pill. Um I guess that's all right for now. I'll take it. Right. Hello, B boss. It's the Fiend Folio bosses, man. Took away one of my uh, goddamn things last run. Oh, I need to remember that these guy, this guy's shot speed up as they go. I forgot that last time and it got me hit. The accelerate. Unfortunately, those little flies are little pricks, and it got me. We keep it going, we keep it moving. Yeah, definitely regretting not using the R key as soon as it was available, but I just, I don't know, I think what I did was right. Explosivo is pretty good here. It's a bit risky as all. Got a little bit of risk associated with it, but nothing we can't handle. Can't remember if Explosivo scales with luck, actually. Let me let me see. It does not scale with luck by the from what the description says, at least. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good bit of damage boost. This is. Just keep them away from me. And it can relatch onto other enemies as well, which is rather nice. And boss time. Trying to goddamn hit the sticky shot on the baby, but it wasn't happening. But there you go, finally got one. Hey, that's not what I wanted. Blood clot's decent here. Take it, and we'll keep going alt path. I want to try this out. We'll hope for a bit of a better time here. Bit of a better time. Sadness now envelops me. So much pain from a lost run. To be fair, earlier today, I recorded Darkest Dungeon. And if any of you watched that series, for one, if you don't, you should. But if you don't, oh boy, I had just a real rough time. <laughs> real rough time. And it has put me in a bit of a mood. <laughs> it was certainly not what I was expecting when I booted up the game. Um, while firing, sometimes spawn a spider egg, which will spawn a blue spider on landing. Sounds decent enough. That other item would have been definitely better, but sounds decent enough. 
Oh shit, they have spectral shot, don't they? You fucking little cowards. Why do I think they didn't have spectral? Ugh. I keep losing our goddamn holy mantle. Fuck off with these stupid flies, no one likes them. Nobody likes these goddamn flies of yours. You again? Why? We already covered the fact that I don't really know how to fight you correctly. Can we just leave it at that? What? What? <laughs> you little god... Does anyone... <laughs> this is definitely a sad request. Does anyone know of a mod that removes the custom bosses from Fiend Folio? Because the, I would, I would kind of love that. Oh, for God's sake, fuck off! I'll be honest, I would, I would kind of love that. <laughs> the custom bosses are like there's some of them that I love, but there's a lot of them that I just despise. <laughs> All of the first floor ones I dislike. A lot of the the second floor and alt floor ones I don't like. Um, I, the Gehenna ones and the Mausoleum ones are awesome. Um, the Womb ones are usually pretty good. Um, the Dank Depp ones are gross, apart from the, the football one, whatever that one is. Uh, even that one's a little bit gross. Um, if you don't have flight, it can be a little bit gross. But yeah, um, I don't know. I'd like to I'd like to play Fiendfolia without the bosses, if I could. <laughs> Which is maybe a bit of a bad request, but if anyone knows of a mod, I would totally be down for that. Because the bosses in this mod make me sad. <laughs> See what we get from here. Sadly, not much. No crawl space either. Although, that bed will give us a holy mantle charge if we need it. I know what you're going to do. Rain poop on me. Don't think so. No poop rain for this boy. Good amount of money there. Thank you. You spawn spiders and do cross shot. I can't remember how many charges you do. Or do you not charge? Maybe you don't charge? No, you do charge. How many charges? Just the one, okay. That's not so bad. That's really good. Uh, I've got a little bit of an idea here, and I'm hoping it works the way I think it's going to work. Um, first of all, I want to check my shop for a holy card. Sadly not, although... Tier Detonator could be interesting. But basically, my idea is I'm going to go to the cash room, expend my holy card charge, and then get another one from the bed. Because, I, like, I can't take it with me, so why not? Fortunately, didn't really work out for me. So yeah, that'll use our holy mantle charge, but we should just get another one by sleeping in this bed. Yeah, we do. Good, good, good. I was, I was just hoping that dirty beds still counted the same way. Oh, hello. We can get tier detonator here. I guess I'll take it. I, I don't know how good it's going to be, but I like it as an item, so... And I think it's maybe even better with Cricket's body. I'm not 100% sure, but it might be. Well, let me just see. Yeah, okay, it is. It can, it can detonate the, the Cricket's body tiers as well as the actual tiers themselves. Good to know. Right. Alt path once again. And with Spectral, tier detonate is even better because it just covers most of the room. We got here. Um, nah. Ah, bloody hell, really. Active item. Why? Pourquoi? Pourquoi? Like that's that's pretty good. Holy shit! How did I not take damage there? Like, how did I not take damage there? What the hell? That was very very lucky.
Well, I need to be doing it once some tears have already landed, then it really hits. It, of course, also lags like crazy, as we just saw, but pretty good stuff nonetheless. Weird room. Why? This guy, again. What did I say? If this guy hits me again, I'm going to be real mad. No hits from you this time, big boy. Stop trying to suck me, too. I will not be sucked. Not particularly good right now, but we can try and find ourselves a place. Um, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Right. Where could it be? Where could it be? Hmm. Try this out. Yeah, we got it. And what do we get for our efforts? Hey, Minus. Minus is pretty good. I'll take Minus. Kind of like the snake we had earlier, but potentially a little bit better. Right, use one more crack key on this floor, then take the other one with us. Unfortunately, I have to venture quite far to be able to use this. We could also actually quickly use this try and find secret room, you know. Um, second secret room. Okay, so pretty sure normal secret room's here. And then this got us into second secret room as well. That was a pretty good usage. And I just fucking stood there. I just, I just goddamn stood there. I just looked at him like a goddamn idiot. Like, so easy to get out the way of that. And I just, I just kind of stood there. It's just, ugh, what is wrong with me? Champion Bell. Wasn't going to be able to take the glassy six with me. Goddamn, we have so much damage now, and I don't have a goddamn holy card. It's just... Ugh. We also need more bombs next floor, too. I've ruined it. I've ruined it all. I just stand... I just... I don't know. I wasn't expecting an enemy, I think. I think that was the issue. Also really good, but we really ought to get ourselves a holy card before we attempt that. Um, probably pretty good. Okay. Being a bit quiet right now, I realise, but for good reason. I'm a bit spooked, to say the least. I got bobbies. Why not? Cracked. Gambled on that. Didn't really pay off, but there you go. Everything dead? Yes, it is. Good, 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 good. There's a secret room there that we've, that's been revealed to us. I always forget that popping a crack key reveals secret rooms. It's weird that it does that, but it's nice. I definitely don't mind it. Give me a goddamn holy card, please. I'd like that very much so. We have to do one room here. Does this give us a holy mantle back? It does not. At least this was easy to grab again. Right. Back this way. Hope for the best.
I'm not sure what to think of this dude that's, that's hovering around me here. Do I just ignore him? Yes, I do. Still no holy card. Take an Empress though, why not? This is pretty useful. I like this. It's pretty useful. I like it. Got a Baleful Heart, which I don't think we can actually pick up. No, we can't. Right. I think I'd go for the Sty. Just gamble. Why not? Runs are about risk. Take the risk. We've also got Smooth Stone too, so if it's a load... If it's a low HP boss, they'll die pretty darn quick, I think. Really? You again? Luckily, you were easy enough, but still annoyed to have come across you. I feel like my damage should be higher than 8.51. I have three damage ups. Wait, do I? No. Yeah, I have three damage ups. Right. We out of here. We herping for the best. Still on that journey for a holy card or a bed to lie in or an eternal heart or anything to give us a holy mantle charge. We're still on that journey. Yeah. Could potentially yield us a holy card in there, I guess, but I'll check the shop first before anything. Open. Definitely don't want to switch that. Pretty good room here. The world is useful. I'll just pop that now. Okay. Go to our item room here. Who have soul hearts, can't do much with those. Not quite sure what to think of that big guy at the back there. Don't know where the fires are going there. I just panicked. I had no idea where the fires were going to go. Hey, chance to turn enemies into turd. Don't mind that either. Faulty fuse. Nothing that does much for us. Two of those guys in a row is kind of weird. Right, keep it moving, go over towards our shop. Yeah, turning enemies into turd. Don't know how useful that will be, but I'm thinking with the split shots it might be pretty good. And it just happened there. Turn that guy into dips. Okay, yeah, I'm liking this so far. So far, I'm liking this. Rainbow poop there as well. Keep a sack for a random amount of money. No lucky pennies, I don't think. Still, good, good money indeed. Red poop, do not get in my way. Um, compass is pretty good to just take. Still, sadly, no holy card to be found, which is a bit depressing. All my spike chests have been turned into haunted chests, but only after the fact of spawning, which isn't how that's meant to work, but hey her. Let's gamble on this. Lucky penny there. Oh damn, the lag is very scary, I'll admit. Because it just has so much opportunity for the enemy to just slap us when it lags. Ooh. 
Lots of cards, no holy card. Bit upsetting. The spaghetti is upset. Also, this guy can be a real problem for us. I can turn those guys into poops. Awesome. Well, so far he's just spawned two waves that insta-killed themselves, so... I'd say so far so good. The chance of turd shots with our luck is, is really high. Oh, what am I doing? I'm just stood in the middle. It was really, really rough. Really bad idea. The laser guys. What the fuck? Um, the room is now full of red poops. I'll be honest, that's not great for me. Not, not ideal. Um, just get gone. I don't know what happened with all the red poops there, but it's scary. <laughs> that is very scary. Think that would be a damage up. I'm not quite sure what you're doing, sir, but I'd like you to stop. I think we're going to be turning a lot of enemies into poop here. Excuse me, what the fuck? Just didn't do anything there. I don't know where I got this little burn dude from, but he's kind of wigging me out a little bit. I'm definitely going to end up running into a red poop that, I create, that I've created and hurting myself, aren't I? That seems the way this is going to go. Sadly, a lot more actives. Eve's nail polish is insanely good. Come on, holy card. Please present yourself to me. Holy card. Where art thou? Where art thou? Where art thou? Definitely don't like the uh, double troll bomb there. Thank you. This guy fucking wrecked me last time. Luckily, we spawned a red poop underneath him and insta-killed him. Um, wasn't expecting that. Decent stats all around there. Um, with our luck, I think we go for a theme here. And then we can get through this without dying, right? Yeah, we can. Cool. Okay, we haven't got a knife piece, but remember I've got the mod so we get it later. Got a Gehenna here. Don't know what to think of many of the enemies and rooms we'll be coming across here, so don't even ask. I have no idea. Give me a fortune telling machine. Okay, not what I wanted. Um, nah, I don't think so. Not quite sure what's going on with this room, I'll be honest. Got these little flies, and then one of these eyes about. Okay, I managed to kill the eye, which is surprising. Have we not seen any holy cards yet, game? Come on. Glass cannon. Glass cannon's really, really, really good for Tinted Lost, right? I'll try my luck at it. We got it. Cricket's head as well. We need some more money pretty quickly. Okay. Quickly just pop another try on that. Oh, we got it. Nice. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Right.
I know that Tia Detonate was doing a great job, but I think this is better. I think. I might be wrong. I'll see how it plays out over the course of the floor. For some reason, it's like lowering my tier size. It's like it it's initially spawns huge and then it gets like made tiny. You see that? Quite sure what that's about. Oh, what the fuck am- Oh, I had a holy mantle at some point, apparently. Okay. I, I genuinely don't remember where I got that from, but I'll accept it. What on earth is happening right now? What? What the fuck killed me? What's going on with the poops? There's something wrong with the poops. Like, let, let me just rewind this. I just want to figure out what the hell just happened. I'll accept the death. But like... There's some crazy shit going on in my, uh... In here, look. I got a lot and a lot of stack overflows popping up. A oh, lot. It's like infinitely generating poops look, like everywhere. Like, what, what the hell's going on? I'm gonna continue this run. If I get to Mother, I'm just going to kill myself. I'm not going to take the win because it's not legitimate. But uh, I'm going to see how far I can get. Just to, just to know if this was the run. Okay, it wasn't. <laughs> there you go. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one nonetheless. That was a lot of fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.